Hello and welcome to another Vuelov trip report. I had just arrived at Paris Charles de Gaulle airport after my first leg of the trip, which unfortunately got a bit delayed, so I had no time to check out the lounge. But boy, I've been waiting for a very long time to fly this bird, the Airbus A380. I hadn't flown it before yet, so it's gonna be amazing, I'm pretty sure. So today we're flying from Paris Charles de Gaulle airport through to New York JFK. After postponing boarding with 20 minutes twice, we finally got to go on board. It's almost like it's common practice on this flight and had I known this before, I would have gone to the Air France lounge in this terminal. Since the aircraft is so huge, it actually has three different air bridges. First class, or La Première with Air France, economy and premium slash business. As we're flying business class today, we'll get to sit on the upper deck. As soon as you sit down on your seat, the flight attendant asks for your coat to hang in the wardrobe. You get it back just before landing. My first impression of the seat, spacious, the big screen, and you get to pick a drink like champagne or water or a juice, pretty good so far. The Airbus A380 is the first plane I've ever flown with a working camera you can watch through the in-flight entertainment system. That means we're gonna enjoy the takeoff and landing a lot more. So it's time to start the engines and let's go to New York. What a power this machine has, and it's all very quiet as well. And what a beautiful sight, these two engines. It's going to be a great flight. Alright, so your table is in your armrest and it's easy to use. You can fold it in half for a smaller table if you're only having a drink. My favorite treat for flying in business class must be the amenity kit. Let's have a look at it. A toothbrush, always handy. A cleaning wipe. Moisturizing gel. A shoehorn. A calm toothpaste with the toothbrush, obviously. Some more moisturizer, earplugs, a toothpick, an eye mask, a real essential, and a beautiful pen to write your arrival card with.
Mealtime, let's have a look at this beautifully designed menu. Starts with the beverage list. A lot of alcohol available, like whiskies, gins, port wines and beers, and of course drinks like Coca-Cola, juices and tonics were available too. For warm drinks you had the choice between tea, coffee and hot chocolate. And of course, this wouldn't be an Air France flight without digestifs. They go great after a feast. As this is a day flight, lunch was served. As a starter, you get shrimp with butternut squash puree. As appetizer, monkfish with grilled vegetable tartare was served together with some salad. And for the main course, you had the choice out of four dishes. A meat dish, two fish dishes and a vegetarian option. Of course, and dessert, a cheese platter was served too. So on the wine menu, there are two red wines, two white wines and champagne. The flight was just long enough to try them all and they were very delicious, I can tell you that. The shrimp with butternut squash puree was absolutely incredible. A bit small, I thought. But what I forgot was the rest of the menu I had waiting for me. Quickly after that, it was time for the appetizer. The monkfish with vegetable tartare and a small salad, which I think goes great with some white wine. And of course, a hot piece of bread was served with the dish. The dish looks amazing and I can't believe this isn't even the main course yet. For the main course, I chose the second fish dish on the menu, the Xander filet and seafood juice and tarragon polenta, whatever that is, and asparagus. The main course is served with the cheese platter and some more warm bread. Again, very delicious. After lunch, it's time to get more relaxed. Get some coffee and watch a movie. For dessert, I got the Bigadine chocolate bite, which goes great with fresh espresso. Let's have a look at the in-flight entertainment system. It starts in French, but can easily be changed to English. Movies, shows and some games are available. The 15-inch display has a touchscreen, but the system reacts slowly. It takes a couple of minutes before you can actually watch something. At least, if the system doesn't crash. For at least 15 minutes, the screen was unresponsive. Alright, no movie then. Let's check our current location on the map and the flight information. A bit slow, but it gives me the information I need. And it crashes again. Well, then I'll give myself a tour throughout the aircraft instead. In the front of the business class cabin, on the upper deck, there's something Air France calls the gallery, where you can watch art from famous art museums. There was a lot of open space Air France could have used for more seating or an extra lavatory. The lavatory on the other side of the aircraft was very spacious and still quite clean. After a quick chat with one of the flight attendants, he recommended me to walk through the whole plane from front to end, then downstairs over the famous spiral staircase in the back and then back to the front through economy class. The economy class cabin on the lower deck is laid out in a 3-4-3 configuration. It's a lot of seats.
walking through the cabin makes you realize again how huge this bird is. It's the biggest passenger aircraft today. Really, the cabin seems endless. Alright, back to my seat, upstairs, over the spiral staircase again, back to my own seat. Only a couple of hours before breakfast and I don't want to miss it. Good night. So I've slept for about two hours, so it's time to explore the seat. Unfortunately, it's not a full flat bed, but it can be reclined to an angle of about 170 degrees. Not the best for sleeping, but it's better than nothing. Especially on the window side, there's a lot of storage space. There are two compartments where my whole backpack fitted in. And then between the video screens, there's another two compartments. One for you, one for your neighbor. USB and a power socket were available, but didn't seem to have much power on it. And my phone barely charged. As we've almost reached their destination, it's time to have breakfast light snack. A chicken tortilla, a goat cheese clafu tea tart and tomato and mozzarella. And of course another dessert. For dessert, I chose the caramelized apple compote with some coffee to wake up and some tea out of a fancy tea bag. No wine for breakfast. Again, very delicious. But all good times come to an end and so the captain has started the descent of the aircraft. A quick look at the safety card warned me that you're not allowed to sleep underneath the seat. And if you forgot your iPad back home, you can ask the crew to go back to pick it up, I guess. All in all, a great experience and I'm really happy that I can relive it making this extra long trip report. I'm really happy that I got to fly the A380, but you quickly forget that the A380 has been flying for over 10 years now and that the interior is built to the standards of 10 years ago. That's why the video screen responds slowly and the seats are in full flat. Next time if I'm flying business class with Air France, I would prefer the Boeing 777 instead, where they do have full flat beds. I want to thank you very much for watching this trip report. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you can now find me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter with the username at Guelogs.